As the sun sets on a tragic scene in Lake Sammamish, one man trying to make sense of it all. I heard the airplane taking off and it was kind of we and I actually heard kind of a kind of a strange sputtering and, and kind of disconnected sound. Matt Vasey lives on the lake and got a call from his neighbor around 11 this morning that a seaplane just crashed. We just saw it was about three quarters of a mile offshore and nobody was going to help them. Vasey instinctively jumped into action. I jumped in my boat and I raced across the lake. When I got there, there was one other boater there and he had one of the, the passenger that was in the plane um, on his swim step and he was like kind of quite injured. He says the plane was inverted and sinking and got word someone was still on board. I jumped in the water and went down and felt in the cockpit and felt that there was somebody in there, um, but I couldn't pull them out. So I got deeper in the water um, into the kind of cockpit and then unbelted the seatbelt, pulled him out of the cockpit uh, and then got him up on the bottom of the wing and started CPR. VC says another boater came to help before medics arrived. One man died, another in serious condition. It is a tragedy uh, and uh, and that you know, the, the pilot didn't make it, but his son did make it. And I think that's the, the, you know, the positive thing that comes out of this. We were able to save one life. Neighbors reportedly saw the seaplane nosedive after takeoff. The FAA confirming it's a single engine Seawind 3000. These are sometimes referred to as kit planes or home built planes as well. That's what this type of aircraft is. Aviation attorney Jimmy Anderson represents families in last year's deadly seaplane crash off Whidbey Island. He says right now, what's crucial is preserving evidence on board. The FAA and NTSB are investigating. We can expect a preliminary report in the next few days. Meanwhile, a message from Vasey tonight for people learn CPR. For now, live at Lake Sammamish, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.